Hi everyone and welcome to Nina Sofra. One of the dishes that's quite often eaten in my family is a very popular sultan kebab, but I do it in Arabic style. So I wanted to show you how easily you can make it at home and impress your family and guests. It's very easy to make it, affordable and extremely delicious. First take peppers and onion. I like to use peppers of different colors. This time I used yellow and red and you can add green also to have really a whole set of colors on your plate. I washed them already and now I will cut them in stripes but I like to cut them a bit thicker to stay a bit firm after frying. On the side I already prepared the beef cut in thin stripes and marinated it for shawarma 4 hours before but if you have time you can marinate it even day before. In case you missed the preparation of shawarma above you can find the link on how to marinate it. Then take two pans, put some oil on them. In one pan put vegetables and in the other start putting small amounts of meat. I usually divide the meat piece by piece with tongs because they are thin and if they stick to each other one might be done while the other is still a bit raw. And they are really finished fast so all in all for me this amount of meat took less than 10 minutes to be done. Fry the meat in batches and when all is done put it on a plate. And for vegetables fry them for 3 minutes only while stirring every now and then and put it aside to cool off. I change the places for the meat to be on stronger fire because the vegetables are finished. After the meat is done, return it to the pan and add a cup of chopped parsley. Stir it for a few seconds until parsley spreads all over the meat and mix it with vegetables until it all combines. And now it's time to start preparing the sultan kebab. What you will need for 4 pieces is a baking pan covered with baking paper, phyllo sheets, 2 per each, 1 small cup and 4 small pieces of butter. You cannot see them now but you will see them while I'm arranging the kebabs. First take one phyllo sheet, push it down inside the bowl, then put the second one above. Take 2 to 3 big spoons of filling and put on the phyllo sheet inside the pot. Then take one slice of melting cheese and put it above the meat. Feel free to use any kind of cheese by your choice. Feta, rumi or mozzarella, gouda, whatever you like. Then top it with another 1 to 2 spoons of the filling and start wrapping the sultan kebab. Slowly take the edges of sheets and wrap them towards the middle. Then take one small slice of butter and put it on top of the first wrapped sheet. After that, repeat wrapping the second sheet. Turn it upside down and place this small dome or half ball onto a baking paper. Repeat the procedure with the rest of the phyllo sheets and the dough until you finish them all. Now we will prepare bechamel. Melt the butter in the pot and pour flour over it, stirring constantly. After 30 seconds it will slightly start changing color. Pour milk over it and keep stirring constantly for the lumps not to appear inside the milk. Then season it with salt and pepper and if you like nutmeg. Stir until it thickens totally and then remove from the fire. It's time to coat them with bechamel. Put some amount on each and with a spoon apply it all over the dough until the bottom. 
try to apply it all the way to down because uncovered parts of phyllo dough could easily burn before the cheese melts and browns a bit. The cheese what I'm talking about I will show you in the following step. So here is the last step, take shredded cheese and stick it all over the bechamel, cover it generously so all the surface is covered with cheese. Put it in the preheated oven on 200 degrees for 20 minutes or until they become golden brown. Then serve it and enjoy! Thank you for watching my video recipe for Sultan Kebab in Arabic style and if you liked it please subscribe and press the little bell to be notified of all my new video recipes. Sofra Haneya, Bon Appetit!